Do you know that in 2022, the gaming industry worth more than $170 billion in global revenues? Five times greater than global movie box office, revenues gaming is the largest category in the entertainment industry, with revenues that far exceed those of both the film and music industries. In this video we will take you in journey through time and witness the incredible evolution of home video game consoles. From the humble beginnings of the Magnavox Odyssey in 1967 to the cutting-edge technology of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series 10 in 2023, the world of gaming has come a long way. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. 1967 marked the birth of the first ever home video game console, the Brown Box, later renamed the Magnavox Odyssey. The console was invented by Ralph Baer, also known as the father of video games. He developed the Brown video game console such that it can be hooked up with any ordinary TV sets. There were only six simple games for the console, namely ping pong, tennis, handball, volleyball, chase games and a light gun game. In 1975, Atari released its first home console, the Pong. It allowed players to play Pong in the comfort of their own homes, and it became a huge success. Just as the earliest films do not feature recorded sound, the first video game console is silent as well, with graphics which we would consider very primitive by today's standard. Atari's Pong arcade machine was so popular in 1973 that Atari decided to market the game as a home console two years later in 1975. In that same year, Magnavox decided to improve its Odyssey system and released not one, but two different improved versions of the original console, the Magnavox Odyssey 100 and 200. These simple systems allowed players to play various games using plastic overlays on their TV screens. From 1976 to 1977, a series of Magnavox Odyssey consoles were produced, with each new console only slightly better than the previous one. The consoles basically had the same games within, but with some modification to the graphics, controllers and digital on-screen scoring. Unsurprisingly, Atari came up with new consoles such as the highly acclaimed Atari 2000, 600, Video Pinball and Stunt Cycle to compete with Magnavox. New companies such as Fairchild, RCA and Coleco also jumped on the bandwagon, creating consoles of their own to grab a piece of the pie. Nintendo the company which eventually became a major player in the video gaming industry for the next three decades, delivered their first series of video game console from 1977 to 1979. The color TV game series were only for sale in Japan. These consoles essentially followed in the footsteps of Atari and featured Pong-style games. Once again, there were a few newcomers to the market but they were met with limited success. Bally Astrocade came about in 1977 and was celebrated for its superior graphic capabilities. For some reason, it did not last long. Mattel introduced its Intellivision console in 1979, which actually intimidated Atari 2600 with its exceptional capabilities. Coleco continued with its line of consoles of all sorts, in an attempt to pit against the mighty Atari 2600. Coleco had consoles for playing shooting, car racing and pinball games. Similarly, Magnavox persisted on with a few more upgraded consoles of its own, but they were inherently Pong consoles that play Pong-based games. Philips, having bought Magnavox in 1974, developed some variations of Magnavox Odyssey's models as well. Regardless, 
Atari 2000. 600 remained at the top owing to its cartridge-based console equipped with beta graphics and games. 80s is the golden age of video gaming. With progressively advanced gaming technology, the 1980s was a period of genre innovation when the industry began experimenting with non-pong games like fighting, platform, adventure and RPG games. Both Sega and Nintendo dominated the video gaming scene in that decade. The first console ever released by Sega was the SG-1000 in 1983. Sega! In the same year Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System NES, which was a massive success and revolutionized the gaming industry. It introduced classic games like Super Mario Bros and The Legend of Zelda, and it was the first console to use a gamepad controller. Companies within the video game consoles market like Atari, Mattel and Coleco released new consoles, Atari 5000, 200, Intellivision II and Coleco Vision, respectively, but these were not comparable with the popularity of Sega and Nintendo. One of the most popular consoles released in the 1980s and 1990s was the Nintendo Game Boy, which was released in 1989 and allowed players to take their games on the go. It was the first handheld console to use cartridges and had a long battery life, which made it a huge success. In 1988, Sega released the Genesis console, which introduced a new 16-bit processor and the ability to play more advanced games like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sony entered the market in 1994 with the release of the original PlayStation. It was the first console to use CD-ROMs instead of cartridges, which allowed for more complex games and better graphics. In 1996, Nintendo released the Nintendo 64, which introduced 3D graphics and a new controller with an analog stick. This allowed for more complex games like Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In 1998, Sega introduced Sega Dreamcast, which providing internet support via its built-in modem for online playing. Dreamcast was the pioneer back in 1998. Two years later, Sony progressed on with the next PlayStation, the PlayStation 2. In 2001, Nintendo switched its cartridge-based Nintendo 64 to a DVD-ROM GameCube. In this year, Microsoft entered the market with the Xbox, which offered a new online gaming experience with Xbox Live. It also had a built-in hard drive which allowed for better graphics and faster loading times. The early 2000s also saw the rise of mobile gaming with the release of devices like the Nokia Engage and the Game Boy Advance SP. However, it wasn't until the release of the iPhone in 2007 that mobile gaming really took off. The Xbox 360 was released in 2005 and introduced high-definition graphics and online multiplayer through Xbox Live. It was also the first console to offer achievements, which allowed players to earn rewards for completing certain tasks in games. In 2006, Sony released the PlayStation 3, which had advanced graphics and Blu-ray capability. It was also the first console to use a motion-controlled controller. In 2012, Nintendo released the Wii U, which was the first console to feature a touchscreen controller. The controller allowed players to play games on both the TV and the controller itself, which added a new dimension to gameplay. In 2013, Sony released the PlayStation 4, which had even more advanced graphics and social features, and Microsoft released the Xbox One, which introduced voice recognition and a new Kinect motion sensor. Finally, in 2020, 
Sony released the PlayStation 5, and Microsoft released the Xbox Series 10S. These consoles offer even more advanced graphics, faster loading times, and new features like haptic feedback and ray tracing allowing for a more immersive gaming experience. The world of games is constantly evolving and promises endless fun for players. If you think that there are other things that will affect the future of games or devise us that we forgot to mention in the video, please mention them in the comments, and do not forget to follow the channel and like the video and share it with friends. Thanks for watching.